Hi friends, my name is Gail Dudasek and I'm a speech language pathologist at Pediatric Interactions. This week we are talking all about different board games, whether games we like to play in therapy, teletherapy, or just for fun. So today I'm actually going to talk about a card game and it's one of my favorite card games to play in the clinic but also through teletherapy and it's Uno. One great thing about Uno is most families have Uno at home or they can make some kind of version of Uno so they can play outside of your session. Today I am going to talk about how we can play Uno by using teletherapy. Now if the family has their own deck of Uno cards you can play back and forth through the computer with whichever card you need to match. However, if they do not have Uno or something similar to it, you can still easily play while engaging them through teletherapy. So what I like to do first is to start with a choice of three. So I will give them the first prompt, which is the card that was placed down, which might be a red three. Okay, our first card is a red three. This is on our deck, it's a red three. What can you play? Yes, and then allow them time to either match the color or the number. If it's too challenging, you might want to bring it down to only two cards and then work your way back up to three and even four cards. I do like to keep the other card either in the corner or available to bring it up and show them just in case you need them, they need that reference. So what does this really work on? So when we're working on Uno, the first part is going to be engagement. Are they engaged with you? Second, it's gonna be retention, for them to be able to remember the color and the number. And that's something as a therapist or as a parent, you might play with. Show the three, can they remember it? Or do they need that reference? Another part that we're working on is actually that matching piece. Are they able to match without you showing them or giving them a prompt? If not, keep your language the same. Are they the same color? Yes. If there is not one the same color, then you could ask, is there a same number? And work your way through that by helping them. And then they find a match and you take your turn. Now, if they put red seven on your red three, I also like to explain what I'm doing. Oh, red seven, red seven. I don't have a seven, but I have a red four. I'm gonna put my red four on your red seven. And I like to show them so that way they understand the difference. Now, as you keep going and keep playing, they're gonna be more and more confident using those matches and using some of those skills that we're learning. And that's when we can go up to four choices, but then we might also add in the option for a wild card. So when I start teaching and playing Uno in therapy, I actually have all of my specialty cards separated out. And as the kiddo becomes more confident playing the game and is able to be more successful and more independent, we might add in each of these slowly, one by one. And that way it's not overwhelming for that child. So I like to start with the wild because there's no per like, response, no negative response. Um, and it's something fun. There's still the visuals so they can understand that they get to pick any of these colors. Again, you can try to make it as independent as possible. Which color do you wanna choose? Versus saying, do you want red, blue, yellow, or green? So that's one way that I like to start slowly building up to playing that full Uno game. Another way that we might play is starting at the beginning. I have a red three. What can you play on my red three? And we'll pull out their deck. red seven hmm. and at this time 
I might try to incorporate my zones of regulation, which is just another piece into our therapy. So, oh, red seven. Let's talk about the red zone. What feelings are in the red zone? And there you can start to open up the dialogue and discussion about different feelings and things in the red zone, which can also target pragmatics, social interactions, inferencing, retention, recalling, and just simply opening up that dialogue. I always, always, always finish the game by saying, good game, good job, model, great teamwork, and good skills, whether we win or we lose. So I hope you have fun. Uno is a great game that you can take on the road, in the car, on a picnic, easily toss in a bag, and it is fun to play, but also a great, great learning tool. Enjoy and have fun playing Uno.